Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with game one of the opening uh, or of the uh, second round series <clears throat> between two teams who advanced to the second round, that being the 1961 Philadelphia Phillies, who were, I believe, the worst team in the entire uh, tournament, and the 1986 New York Mets who were one of the best. The Mets in 1986 won 108 games. The Phillies in 1961 won only 47. In fact, they lost 107, almost as many as the Mets won. So uh, the Phillies will be the visiting team and they will uh, be batting first. And the Mets will have Bob Ojeda on the mound for this opening game. <clears throat> and uh, so with that, let's get underway. We got Tony Gonzalez playing center field and leading off for the Phillies. And he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, so he's out. One away. Johnny Callison's up. He gets a 5-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop X. And the shortstop is a 2. That's Santana. And that is probably going to be a hit. That's a 1. And it is. A, or, uh, yeah, it is. <clears throat> so, Johnny Callison gets a board against Ojeda. And that brings up West Covington, and he gets a 6-9, which is a walk. The Phillies have two guys on here with uh, only one out. So Ojeda in a little bit of early hot water. <clears throat> and Don Demeter's up. He gets a 2-8, which is a fly ball left field, two away. And that brings up Charlie Smith, and Charlie Smith gets a 3-9, which is a home run 1-12. to And it isn't. It's actually a double. So one run will score for the Phillies on that, but it could have been three, and they really could have been in the driver's seat. So that leaves it up to Pancho Herrera, who gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball shortstop X. So he is out. Or uh, not an X, but a, a double asterisk, actually, but it doesn't matter. So the Phillies do strike for a run in the first inning, and they take a 1-0 lead. <clears throat> and by the way, I would mention that Bob Ojeda in 1986 was 18-5 with a 257 earned run average. And pitching for the Phillies will be one of the Phillies' managers of the past, Dallas Green. Although at this point in 1961, he was a future manager of the Phillies. Mookie Wilson will lead off against him. He gets a 3-10, which is a strikeout. That brings up Lenny D, Lenny Dykstra. 6-10 is a fly ball to the center fielder, two away. And Keith Hernandez gets a 6-10, which is also the same, a fly ball to the center fielder. So the Mets go 1-2-3 very quickly. And we go to the top of the second, where the Phillies were giving fits to um, Bob Ojeda, and he will go back out to the mound and see if he can calm things down this inning. Ruben Amaro is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. That brings up Tony Taylor. Tony Taylor with a 6-5 is a double 1-3 to three or a single. And that is going to be a single. The Phillies are all over Ojeda early here. Clay Dalrymple's up, and he gets a 2-8, which is a pop-out to second, two away. And that brings up 
Tony Gonzalez, the leadoff batter, and he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that retires the Phillies, who maintain their slim 1-0 lead. And back out to the mound goes Dallas Green. And he'll face Daryl Strawberry, who gets a 1-8, which is a triple 1-6, to six, or a single. And that will be a single. He just barely misses the triple. But he does get a hit. And that's the first hit off Dallas Green here in the second for the Mets. Gary Carter up. He gets a 4-7, which is a single. And we could send Strawberry, but we're not going to. Um, the Mets are pretty confident that they're going to win this series and maybe even sweep it. And so they're not going to push the envelope. That's a 4-10, which is a ground ball to third. The third baseman is a 4 for the Phillies. And that's a 10. 10 and 4 is a one base error. So the bases are now full of Mets with no outs. The Phillies are going to keep the infield back. It's still early, and they're going to hope for the double play. Ray Knight up. He gets a 1-7. They don't get it. It's a single. And so Ray Knight knocks in a run. They're still hoping for that double play. They've really got to. Kevin Mitchell gets a 4-6, and that's a single one asterisk. So they can't even send the runners an extra base on that one. But that's the second run knocked in. Uh, Santana's up, the shortstop, and he gets a 5-5, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. Now, this is where they're hoping. The shortstop is a 2, that's Ruben Amaro, that's a 7, and that is an out double play. But a run does come, a uh, run still does come in, There, is, but there's 2 down. That's the third run for the Mets, and Mookie Wilson is up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. So the Mets get three runs, but it could have been a lot better than that. And for the Phillies, it could have been a lot worse. But they played back for the double play, and they finally did get it, albeit after uh, three runs came in. But it's only 3-1 to one now. So we go to the top of the third with Johnny Callison up against Ojeda. Let's put him out there. And that's a 5-8, which is a fly ball to right. And that brings up Wes Covington, who gets a 3-4, which is a strikeout. Only the first strikeout for Ojeda. And Don Demeter is up, and he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. So you really have to think that the missing out on that potential three-run homer for the Phillies in the first inning and only getting one run instead of three is really going to is going to cause an uphill battle for them here in this game. And uh, Dallas Green will go out to the mound. Lenny Dykstra steps in against him, bottom of the third. 611 is a fly ball to right. The right fielder is a two. That's Don Demeter. And that's a one. That's one away. So Dykstra's out. Hernandez stepping in for seven. That's a single. Fifth hit allowed by Dallas Green and Daryl Strawberry up. He gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. And Gary Carter gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop double play. So that is the end of the inning. No runs come in for the Mets. We go to the top of the fourth with the Mets still maintaining a rather small for them, you would think. 3-1 to one lead.
Charlie Smith is up and he gets a 6-3, which is a fly ball to left. The left fielder for the Mets is Mookie Wilson. He's a 2. That's a 10 and a 2. And that is an out. One away. You remember last time Charlie Smith doubled in the go-ahead run for the Phillies in the first inning. Pancho Herrera is up. He gets a fly ball to left. And that brings up Ruben Amaro. And Ruben Amaro gets a fly ball to the center fielder. And he's out. So no runs come in for the Phillies. And the Mets will be up again. Dallas Green still out on the mound for the Phillies. I mean, they really don't have any better relief pitching than they have starting pitching. So Wally Backman's up. He gets a 1-7, which is a single. And he's a stealing B, but he's going to hold and he's going to stay right there right now. Ray Knight up. Gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher in a double play. So Dallas Green starts the double play and Knight hits into it. So there's two down and Mitchell up and he gets a 4-9, which is a double 1-7 or a single. And that's what it is. Mitchell with a hit. And he's two for two today. Seventh hit allowed by Dallas Green. And Rafael Santana gets a 2-11, which is a double one to seven. Or a single, and it will be a single. So runners are now at the corners with two down. And up steps uh, Mookie Wilson with a 6-9, which is a triple one to four or a single. And that's going to be a single double asterisk, and that knocks in another run. RBI, ninth hit, fourth earned run for Dallas Green. And uh, that brings up Dykstra, and he is grounding out to the first baseman for the last out of this inning, but... They do get another run, and now the Mets have a 4-1 to one lead as we go to the top of the fifth. And up steps the, uh, the Phillies, trying to get some more runs off of Bob Ojeda, with uh, Tony Taylor starting him out. 3-7 is a ground ball third. He's out. Clay Dalrymple gets a 4-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher A. And Tony Gonzalez gets a 6-9, which is a walk. So they get another runner aboard. That's only the fifth base runner allowed by um, Ojeda here in the fifth. Johnny Callison up. And a 3-8 is a strikeout. No runs come in for the Phillies in the fifth. And Dallas Green is not going to go back out to the mound. He's already losing 4-1 and not really pitching very well. And that, that will be, at least for right now, Ken Lehman. So Ken Lehman will come out and pitch for the Phillies. In relief of Dallas Green with Keith Hernandez. Or, yes, Keith Hernandez up. He gets a 2-10. It's a home run, 1-14. He greets him immediately with a home run. Gone. And it, that's another run for the Mets. The Amazing Mets. And uh, let's see. Ken Lehman. Hit. Home run. Earned run. First battery faces. Daryl Strawberry up. He gets a 3-8, which is a strikeout. You're going to get that with Strawberry. Home run every once in a while and a strikeout quite a bit. Gary Carter up. He gets a 1-5, which is a fly ball to center. 
And that brings up Wally Backman, who gets a 2-8 in the ground ball third base, and he is out. But he was, uh, Lehman did give up a run on a leadoff Keith Hernandez homer, which puts the Mets ahead now 5-1. to one. And Ojeda back out to the mound. The Phillies back up at the plate in the top of the sixth. Wes Covington, 2-8, is a ground ball first. He's out. One away, and that brings up Don Demeter. He gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball third base. He's out. And Charlie Smith is up, and he gets a 2-12, which is a foul out to the catcher plus injury. And he is going to be out for two games. Charlie Smith will. So they need another uh, third baseman. And that's going to be Bobby Del Greco. So we'll put him in there. And he is going to be, he's a third base five. And a stealing E. So Smith was out. I think that's two down. And uh, and that brings up Pancho Herrera. And it may not be, but um, that's just too bad. Fly ball to center field for Herrera. So hopefully I got that right, and that was the third out of the inning. Um, and Philadelphia getting no runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth with the score um, five to one Mets. And uh, Ken Lehman still pitching. Ray Knight up. He gets a uh, one six, which is a single. Ray Knight with a hit. Kevin Mitchell up. He gets a 411. And that is a ground ball to the pitcher. The pitcher is a 2. And that is a 7. That'll probably be a double play, my guess. And it is. So that is two outs. Mitchell hitting into the double play started by the pitcher. Lehman and then Rafael Santana up and he gets a 5-8, which is a line out to first. And the Mets get no runs in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. And Ruben Amaro is up, and he will be facing, of course, um, Bob Ojeda. And let me get the uh, pitching set up here for the Philadelphia Phillies because uh, they're going to have action up in their bullpen and that action is going to be Jack Balchin. Balchin? I, I don't know how to pronounce his name but anyway he's up in the bullpen with his team batting here in the seventh and down by four runs Ruben Amaro up. He gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. One away. Fourth strikeout for Ojeda. Tony Taylor up. He gets a 3-9, and that is a fly ball to center. And up steps Dalrymple, and he gets a 4-11, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And the shortstop is Santana, who is a 2 that is a three, and it's probably an out, and it is. So Dalrymple gets out, and they go one, two, three in the seventh, and we go to the bottom of the seventh, still with the Mets ahead by five, and the new pitcher for the Phillies, as I alluded to, will be Jack Bulchin. 
And he'll be pitching against Mookie Wilson to lead it off. 3-6 is a single for Mookie. And Lenny Dykstra's up. He gets a 1-8, which is a triple 1-10 to 10 or a single. So they greet Balchin with some serious stuff here, um, like a triple that knocks in a run. So Dykstra gets a hit, triple, RBI. Balchin gives up his second hit and his first earned run. Keith Hernandez up, and that's a 2-8, which is a double 1-7 to seven or a single. That's really going to be a double. So Hernandez with the hit. Daryl Strawberry up. He gets a 4-11. That's a fly ball to left. The left fielder is a 3. That's Johnny Callison. That's a 10. Probably going to be an out, and it is, so that's one way. Strawberry out. Gary Carter up. He gets a 5-10, which is a strikeout to away. So Balchin looks like he's settling down. And Wally Backman up, gets a 3-6, which is a single. And they're going to stop the runner at third. Again, the results of the final results of this game don't seem to be in any real doubt. And Ray Knight up, 111 is a line out to second. But they do get another run, and so it is six to one, top of the eighth. The Phillies coming to bat. And Ojeda may actually get a uh, full game out of this. Tony Gonzalez gets a 4-7, although it did look iffy early on. Gonzalez strikes out. Johnny Callison comes up. He gets a 3-7, which is a walk. That was the only thing in the column, and he got it. That's only the sixth base runner allowed by... Ojeda. Covington up. Covington gets a 2-2, which is a pop out the second two away. And that brings up Don Demeter, and he gets a 6-5, which is a double 1-2-3. One, one, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. So they have runners at the corners. Demeter with a hit. And now Ojeda is starting to show a little some a couple of cracks and Bobby Del Greco is up who is coming in for the uh, injured Charlie Smith and he gets a 2-6 which is a single double asterisk and knocks in a run and that will bring up to the plate Pancho Herrera and he gets a 2-7, which is a strikeout. So the Phillies do strike for another run, but it is still 6-2. Kevin Mitchell up. Batting against um, Jack Baldchen, who they might as well keep out there. Kevin Mitchell 1-9 is a fly ball. Rafael Santana gets a 5-3, which is a ground ball. First base X. The first baseman is a 4. That's Pancho Herrera. And he gets a 16 roll, which is a one base error. So Santana on by an error. One out. Mookie Wilson up. He gets a 4-11, which is a 
fly ball left, the left fielder is a three. That's Johnny Callis, and that's a 15. That's going to be bad. That's going to single two. So the Mets now have runners at the corners. And Bolchin has really been getting his butt handed to him here. Lenny Dykstra up, 6-8. That's a walk that loads the bases up. Hernandez is up, and he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball. Second base double play, and ends the inning. So they were on the cusp of getting a run, but they didn't. And uh, now we go to the top of the ninth. And for the ninth, they are going to take Ojeda out, even though it would appear he has this well in hand, very well under control. They are still going to bring in Rick Aguilera to pitch the ninth. Ruben Amaro is up. He gets a 4-7, which is a home run 1-11. to That's going to be a double. Rick Aguilera in 1986 was 10-7 with a 388 earned run average. So Amaro with a leadoff double. Tony Taylor's up. He gets a 6-4, which is a catcher card X. That's Carter. Carter is a 1. That is a 13. 13 and 1 is a foul out. One away. Dalrymple comes up. He gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. Two away. And... That brings up Tony Gonzalez with two down in the ninth. Five eight is a strikeout, and the Phillies lose the opening game to the Mets by the final score of six to two. two. So surprising that it was actually even that good between these two teams, as many games as separated them, but. We'll see what happens. Maybe the Phillies can bounce back in game two um, in New York and then go to Philadelphia in a tie with, you know, getting a split here in New York. Hopefully they won't be down two games to nothing because then they really are in a lot of trouble. So that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.